Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the reseller games are about to begin. I just got a phone call saying I have four packages waiting to be picked up, which is great news because I'm sitting in my house going crazy. Nothing to do because of this coronavirus. So I am pumped to be able to begin the reseller games. I'll tell you guys all the rules and everything, how, how it's gonna work once I pick up the packages, once I get back home. Stick around, this should be a lot of fun. So in this reseller game, I paid four different people 25 bucks and they were supposed to send me some cool graphic t-shirts or a cool graphic and they are gonna compete with each other to see who sent me the coolest graphic. I do have a small prize for the winner. Nothing too crazy, just kind of like a ha ha, I won this. I just want this to be a lot of fun. It's also a very creative way to like network and grow with some individuals. Like, hey, you got some cool t-shirts, I got some cool t-shirts. Let's, uh, let's grow and connect together. And because these people are judged on the coolest graphic shirt or the coolest graphics, I had to go with my new favorite graphic t-shirt, but I couldn't decide between this one or this one or even this one. But I decided to go with this one because it's my newest and I got a hat to go with it. I want to start off by introducing our contestants and reading you the rules that I sent to them for this reseller game. Our four contestants are Lucky Strike Co. or Lucky Strike Vintage. I've done business with him before. Retro Original Co. who now has a YouTube channel. Single Stitch Slayer. And last but not least, Vintage underscore Grail. And I put a post up on my Instagram asking people if they would want to play. These were basically like the first four people to say yeah, and the first four people that I paid the $25 to. Let me read you guys the rules that I sent to them just so you guys know what's going on here. <clears throat> you will be competing against three other people on the coolest graphics for $25. Could be one tee or multiple t-shirts. This is the first go around of my reseller games, so this is all new to me as well. But the winner will be chosen just simply on who sent me the coolest graphics for $25. I'll let the people choose who they think wins, and this is just the first try. Things will change as we grow here on YouTube. So basically, they can send me more than one t-shirt. That kind of worries me because that means that they don't think their first choice is good enough, but it's just the coolest graphics for $25. So I sent all four of these guys $25, and they were just supposed to send me some cool graphics, and they're gonna compete here, a little friendly competition. So I'm gonna need your guys' help. Now, I know my channel is not the biggest here, but it is big enough to be able to play some reseller games. I have about 200 consistent views on all my videos, and all I'm asking is that maybe like a fifth of you guys could actually leave a comment and vote on the coolest graphics. All you have to do to vote is clearly list somebody's name in the comments that lets me know that you are voting for that person. And voting will only be open for 48 hours after this video is posted. So go comment right away with who you think wins. Okay, I think that's all the nonsense that I have to go over. Let's get into these graphics. I'm gonna start with this one because it got tore open in postage. Ooh, baby. I, I should probably mention before we even open any, I had two different contestants send me a message saying, there's no way I don't win this. So things are about to get spicy. And of course, I will vote. I'll be the first vote. I'll comment first with who I think win. Okay, wow, this is gonna be tough. Oh man, this is gonna be so difficult. Okay, so Lucky Strike Co, he's our first contestant. He's starting it off with just a simple graphic, a Def Leppard. Now when judging a vintage t-shirt, there's a lot to take into consideration, like the tag, the condition, the, the graphic, the, the all of it, right? But for the sake of this video, we are just judging them on graphics. So to start off, it's a small graphic. It is a cool graphic, but it's a small graphic. Oh man, okay, his next one is a Blink 182. This is a kid's t-shirt with a double-sided, you got Blink 182, and then you got the big bunny on the back. Loser kids, just a bunch of loser kids, right? Okay, I like it. Okay, his next graphic is a Bob Marley. Bob Marley t-shirt, got his face on there, all right? This t-shirt has a huge hole in the back, but again, we're not going on condition, we are just going on 
the graphics here. And then his, oh yeah, there he is, Lucky Strike. He's always sending the stickers. Strike in his last t-shirt on the Salem. You have a massive graphic. This is the Orlando Magic uh, with the little magician in the bag. Now, honestly, in my opinion, this is the coolest, gr coolest graphic that he sent me. But you gotta add them all up. You're stacking your quarters on top of each other to make a dollar. Okay, so just to recap, contestant number one is Lucky Strike. And Lucky Strike sent me the Magic, the Bob Marley, the Blink-182, this one's pretty cool too, and then that little Def Leppard. All right, contestant two. Ooh, looks like he just sent me one t-shirt, so he must think this is a good, good one. So this is from Vintage Grail, and he is competing with... Oh, he does have multiple in here. Okay, he's got two as well. All right, the first shirt, it is it is just that. It's a vintage graphic t-shirt. It says, good till the last drop. This is from 99. You have a hunter sitting underneath a tree trying to drink some coffee, but it's really the turkey pellet. Humorous, I gotta give him that. And then t-shirt two. Happiness is a large gut pile. Boom. Viewer discretion advised. You have the guts all over the front of this t-shirt. Got nothing on the back. This thing is super soft. And just for the sake of being into vintage t-shirts, check out that tag. You gotta love to see it. Okay, to recap Vintage Grail, he got us with happiness is a large gut pile and the hunter drinking that turkey turds. Contestant number three. This is Single Stitch Slayer, and his are in a box. So the reason I wanted to do like competing against graphic t-shirts is because I am just a huge sucker for vintage graphic t-shirts. The way they tell a story, the, the just the images on them, it's all art. It's just art and history to me. And that's exactly what I like. It looks like for $25, he shoved a lot in here, so we're gonna have to so we'll have to take that into consideration as well. The first graphic is real men don't need instructions. So you got a, a very simple Snoopy graphic, nothing on the back, but for the sake of an old cartoon t-shirt, I like it. I don't know, there's something about this graphic that I like. His second t-shirt he sent me is a Chase Authentics double-sided NASCAR t-shirt. Now, honestly, I've seen cooler graphics on NASCAR t-shirts before, but we are adding this on top of the Snoopy one. He's also throwing in the Vintage Penguins graphic t-shirt. So, I like big graphics. I like graphics that are kind of all over the place, and this is a big graphic. I like this. I wish there was more action to it rather than just the words. But again, he's adding this on top of his bunch. This is shirt number four from him. 1998 New Orleans Jazz. This is a cool tank top. I like just like the New Orleans Jazz aspect to it. But if we're judging it on just the graphic, Ah, man, I don't know if that graphic is really that, like, all that, you know? Like, the shirt itself, the message, and, like, the New Orleans, the jazz music, the festival, all that is cool, but just strictly the graphic. I don't know. This is on top of his bunch. Boom, boom. This is shirt number five from him. You have a Sturgis. You got the skulls. Oh, it's double-sided. Okay. I do like this graphic here. And it's double-sided with the beautiful blue on the back. He's really gonna make stuff tough. And it looks like there's one left. This last t-shirt from Single Stitch Slayer, it's like the Superman logo, but it's a K. Honestly, I don't I don't get this. The graphic doesn't do do much for me on this one. Um, but again, you know, you got the Superman like comic book look to it, and he's adding this on top of his bunch. All right, and last, but certainly not least, Retro Original Co. This dude actually does have a lot of really cool stuff. He sent us some stickers as well. And a little thank you. I appreciate the support. This was a lot harder to pick than I thought it would be, but I think these two T's should at least make me a contender. LOL Lucas. Let's see what you got. Boom, graphic t-shirt. For $25, give me all your M&Ms and nobody gets hurt. So you got a nice little double-sided here graphic t-shirt. Love it, love it. Once again though, I wish it was more graphics and not just words, even though I know words are graphics, but I'm looking for like the action. The action on t-shirts. 
I know you can't get this for 25 bucks, but y'all understand, right? And then the last shirt up for the games, fish and chips. Now this graphic actually looks like a picture, like a piece of art. Pretty cool, I like it. Very colorful, okay, that's the kind of stuff I'm looking for. I wish it was just a bit bigger, maybe double-sided. That graphic would be amazing. Okay, these boys are about to make my life really hard now. I'm gonna be the first one to judge or to put my vote in. Um, before I give you one last look at all four contenders, I do wanna say this is all friendly competition. This is just people with cool t-shirts competing against other people with cool t-shirts. And I do plan on doing this again. The next time, instead of doing like the coolest graphics for $25, I think I'll do, I don't know yet. I think I'll do like, maybe I'll make it like a theme. Like maybe the coolest, Harley t-shirt for $25 or maybe the coolest sports t-shirts. No, I don't really like sports that much besides soccer. Maybe I'll do like the coolest historical figure t-shirt or so, so there will be another competition. If you want to participate, just check me out on Instagram. And remember, I do have a nice little pile of vintage goodies that the winner will receive just as like a thanks for competing and basically bragging rights. But it's nothing insane. I mean, I did pay them 25 bucks for all this, but it is just a little pile of vintage goodies. All right. One last recap and then we're gonna vote. All right, here's the recap. So contestant number one is Lucky Strike Co. He had the Def Leppard, the little graphic, the Blink-182, like kids graphic, Bob Marley, and then that huge Orlando Magic graphic, Lucky Strike Co. Contestant two was the Vintage Grail. He threw up like two hunting t-shirts, like graphic t-shirts with the turkey turds. And then happiness is a large gut pile if you're like hunting deer or something. That is Vintage Grail. Contestant three was over here, Single Stitch Slayer. And he gave us a wide variety to choose from or to add on to each other. Honestly, six t-shirts for $25 is just a steal of a deal. But we are just looking at the graphics. And then contestant four is Retro Original Co. With the Stick 'em Up M&M's graphic. And then the Fish and Chips Colorful graphic. Okay, this is tough. I've been sitting here looking at these four different contestants, trying to figure out who I'm going to pick as my vote. And honestly, what it's coming down to for me is if I saw someone in public wearing one or multiple of these t-shirts, who would I go up to and be like, wow, that's a sick t-shirt. And this is what I'm thinking. Okay, for me right now, it's coming down to this big magician graphic with the little Def Leppard added on top and the kids Blink-182 and single stitch vintage up here. This Sturgis graphic is personally probably my favorite out of all of them. And then you have even these added on top of that. It just, it's just too much. Honestly, if you want to even make this fair, you could throw these three t-shirts out of the bunch and just with these three, he's still competing for first place, in my opinion. Over here, I really love the colors on this fish and chips shirt, but it just, I, in my opinion, this right here, this picture just does not beat this picture, plus this and this. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, I just can't get over that Sturgis graphic with the NASCAR Miller Lite on top, with the Pittsburgh Penguins on top. But then you have a Blink-182 graphic t-shirt and a Def Leppard little one with a magician. Okay guys, here we go. I'm gonna keep a little bracket in my eBay room of all the winners of these reseller games and then maybe like the four winners can like face off against each other in some new competition. I am gonna do this again and I'm gonna keep it for the next go around, I'm gonna keep it as the coolest graphic for $25 but this time I'm gonna limit it to one t-shirt and then maybe after that, we'll switch up the category. Instead of coolest graphic, maybe it'll be like the coolest historical significance or whatever it may be. But this is my judgment. This is the first vote, vote number one. Leave your vote in the comments below. Let me explain my, my thinking here. 
So this is what I got. This is gonna be my second place because this graphic's so little. If it was bigger, easy win maybe. Blink 182 like is awesome and I love the band, but we're going just on graphics and this graphic just isn't getting it for me and neither is Bob Marley to be honest. This is the one that was holding it into play here. So the winner here, I flipped these over and took one last look at the back of these shirts and that sold me on it. You got the NASCAR, you got this beautiful blue color and this one and also he had those three shirts in there as well. So my vote is going to single stitch slayer you guys have 48 hours to make your vote in the comments thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one <laughs>